what is the driving force behind Industry 4.0? How will technologies like AI, edge computing, and connectivity change the future of manufacturing? Pandemic scenarios has exposed new opportunity to, to leverage digitalization. Is this a sustained trend or is this an anomaly? We've drastically been changed by the consumer market. Welcome to Factory Tomorrow, presented by DigiKey Electronics. Powered by Siemens, Schneider Electric, Phoenix Contact, and Supply Frame. Join us as we visit with experts in the field of manufacturing to learn how DigiKey Electronics and their partners are developing the next generation technologies to meet rising global demand. In our first episode, we learn how digital twins are addressing supply chain and manufacturing challenges by providing detailed hardware simulations, which provide unparalleled insight into ways that companies can improve efficiency and reduce downtime. You'll probably hear the factory of tomorrow, industry 4.0. Again, there's a ton of uh, industry buzzwords or phrases to describe the next stage of industrialization. And really a lot of that is driven in the digital or software world. As you go into those, those labor challenges, digitalization can soften that burden transition. It provides you with, I think, more tools to, again, make better business decisions, and particularly if you have less people to do the work. Maybe you can use artificial intelligence, digital twins. You can use all of these data-driven methods to augment the existing labor force that you have to contribute. So a lot of people ask me what a digital twin is. In, in the simplest form, it is a digital rendering of a physical piece of equipment and essentially how it operates day to day, minute to minute, second to second. And using a digital twin, we can pull all of the digital data and feed it into various pieces of software to say, hey, you can build it faster, quicker, stronger by doing X, Y, and Z. And by doing it in a digital world, it's much quicker and more efficient through the design and implementation phase uh, than it would be in a physical world, right? Those type of things used to take weeks, months, years. With digital twin technology, some people can do it in hours, right? If it's just a simple piece of machinery. So it's really compressing that timeline and taking a lot of the risk out of it by creating something in a digital world versus a physical world. I think that we have seen where supply chains are becoming a little bit more, uh, I would say, closer together. And as you go through those localization techniques, it involves a lot of people. You have to have an entire ecosystem at play. Data is uh, playing a bigger and bigger role in manufacturing each and every day. From the point of view of um, understanding what the future is going to hold, I ask you know certain knowledgeable people: Is this a sustained trend or is this uh, an anomaly? And an example is you know I think last week we shipped thirty thousand boxes, which is near high for us, but with the the shortage of supply, you know, there's less in a box. I look at the balance between picking and packing and how that affects what we've delivered. Fortunately, that is not a trend. That seems to be an anomaly of the market. So I just want to make sure what we designed is going to sustain for the future. If there are shifts in customer demand or what our products were going to be storing and, and, and supplying, I just want to try to stay ahead of that. I think a good example is industrial automation components are tend, tend to be larger than our traditional core components like resistors and capacitors. As DigiHeat changes and evolves and our customers, our suppliers change, I want to make sure we're, we're ahead of it or at least sound pace with it. It's certainly exciting, our partnership with DigiKey. Their reach is, is incredible, as you can imagine. The amount of people that they can uh, reach out to uh, in an e-commerce platform is truly amazing. But certainly the vast resources when you go to their website to use Siemens content or the various resources that they have to supply people of Gen Z or millennial or other generations, I think that is super unique to what DigiKey does in the platform that they provide. The reason why we uh, developed the digital enterprise team is we, we saw the benefit of collaboration and we have for, for many, many years. And I think it's it's kind of a foundation uh, point within Siemens to begin with. And we're very fortunate at Siemens that we have a, a couple of departments that bring to bear various technologies. Certainly automation, factory automation is there. Certainly motion control uh, is there with drive technologies. You know, we've got a, a software portfolio that is pretty exciting and can do some dynamic things in the PLM arena amongst many other areas. I mean, that's just one of many. Where do you want to put the data? Um, how do you want to utilize it and how do you want to make better decisions? But I think the, the key part of any digital effort, having the right people collaborating. Without that, you just don't go anywhere. Collaboration, it's huge. It's, it can make a big impact.
using technology like digital twins to predict future scenarios or to prevent costly shutdowns is just one way manufacturers are preparing for the future. One that will take us from the factories of today to the factories of tomorrow.